ya ya ukase ni ya mawambo udin kron kron ni ni onyam ni nanka so mi bini osuru asasi so anasasi asia eno obese wa kura ya ya kura ya fi ya kura ya mangana ya kura ya sore wa ma ya difini ya fi bae mwa ya sumjwe mo anopayi wadi ya ba wana ngase sa obe chere chanyo odomo kwa yi na wa ma ya unwa shade ni ya tumye diso ni ya uwa basa eno utumi yi awo ya bremu ya da wase so manu ngo ne rade wasem e baba ne enfri wo na ma wasem e nyatina bia e wo mem na edijuma ye show en yonyam e ye okase wo jesus christ de ne munti amen ana pe ya sia ye nyira ye papa e wo ye ntem o ma ye nyina ye ma ye nsaso ye ma na akwa ba hallelujah papa ye mo akwa ba amen Understanding giving as a gate of Zion. Understanding giving as a gate of Zion. Ye be hwe Zion apono no nyina na ye hwe nyantia oma eka Zion apono no ehun. Na the subject of giving has not been given a proper place in our Christian churches. Even though most often they are not it has been taught the real content of Christian giving has not been addressed. The reason is that the real giving that need to be addressed in the church is deeper and it is meant for those who can chew bones. So over the years what preachers have sought to do is to teach the elementary way of giving for you to understand so they can gradually bring you into the place of bones and within these two or three weeks that is ahead of us we'll be exploring the kind of giving that is found in Zion amen amen enti oma eye apono ba ko a e wo zion am e kire o se kasa fa zion a ye kasa mfra bipo bi ewo israel na mum ye kasa fa the christian church ye kasa fa christo asoria onene ni njina so onene ne fapem ono ene adie nyina mu asoro no eye ne dia na saa oman ebe yi yesu akyere na ma wati ase ase the kingdom of god does not thrive on the receivers the kingdom of god thrives on the givers until you understand the depth the breadth and the height of christian giving you may think that giving is to receive but in the kingdom of god giving is not to receive but giving is one thing that defines us as christians it's one thing that makes us to hold allegiance to christ it is no be by yesu mu na onte omasia na our big 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 problem hallelujah ain't it romans chapter 15 verse 29 fast Romans chapter 15 verse 29 I say and I am sure that when I come unto you I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the blessing not blessings I shall come in the fullness of the blessing of the gospel of Christ so the greatest blessing for the Christian church is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. What is the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ? The gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ is to understand the birth, the burial, the death and resurrection of Christ. So we see Yesu ni ba oba wi ase ni bra oba bra ye ni wu a owu ye ani no sori a o sori ya se a o ma ere nya problem ma now this message is not for the babes it is for the matured it is for them that understand that the death the burial and the resurrection of Christ was the greatest giving of all time john chapter 3 verse 16 john chapter 3 verse 16 for god so loved the world that he gave so there's a dimension in the kingdom that only giving can bring about 
There's a dimension in God that it is given to unleash, to release that dimension of God. Bible say there is a dimension that makes God to take custody of what he has. There's a dimension that makes God to take custody of his plans. There's a dimension that makes God to take custody of his will. And that dimension is called the dimension of giving. It was say, for God so loved the world. I love the world. I could have taken the world by myself. Nobody would disagree with me. But there are protocols in the kingdom. And that protocol is such that you cannot take hold unless something is given. And when you're able to enter into that protocol, everything will be laid at your disposal. And the Bible says, For God so loved the world. That what did he do? What did he do? Oh my, oh my, ah, the radio men tell us we are see one a boy, one a boy we are see. And I will say, oh, Baba Ji and so I was a woman. According to the judicial council of eternity, you cannot take hold of anything that has been released already when you have not given. And you say. For God so loved the world that he gave his only. Hey, Erade. Now, Antinana, who may Erade Santana and the Christy Day, Paco Pema, or better natural, and Tokabeba. But in eternity, the most costly, the most expensive, something that nothing can replace is the only begotten son. Do you know why? Because nobody knows God except the Son. And it is the Son that must reveal Him. And God is going to give the Son. How will the world know God? A deep. A mudo. Hallelujah. A mudo. It's a rather say, don't worry. I'll fulfill that requirement. I am an eternal God. And I know everything. And I will fulfill the protocol that is in eternity for me to take hold of the world. So I say, he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believeth in that provision, whosoever believeth in that giving, whosoever believeth in that gift, that person will not die. Oh my God. And Nora, school of ministry, yes, I have. So important. So, so, so important. Will not die. Will not die. So it means that when the devil took over the world, what the devil brought into the world is death. Satan, you walk and a brain, you are a temu. Nasa, a temu, your friend, eternal separation from God, spiritual death. A war, a young whom walk. It's only by a bonnet in Nipedia, who never mong the cranet in the mono, a woo ye, and you're not meant to be a day at a tear, not scientific simono, and the rather per se, or restore back, scientific simono, and the rather per se, or Manasan Betana Hobio, not society to never be a payer, this rather than a double back or pair, a be near him, a be near she, at the mano, not Bible say, so that whosoever believed in that gift. So it means that the salvation of the world is in the only begotten son. And the devil says, you cannot give the angels, you cannot give archangels, the only thing that can satisfy that take back, the only thing that can satisfy that relationship, the only thing that can satisfy that peace, the only thing that can satisfy you getting your sons back is by offering the only begotten son. And God said, according to the decrees in eternity, giving is is what makes me to take custody of what I want to receive. And the Bible says that he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever believeth in that gift, that eternal separation, that spiritual separation, God will bring you back into himself. 
and the Bible say, or the double back up a day and my This is the foundation of Christian giving. This is the foundation of Christian giving. Whosoever believed in him should not die, but will have everlasting life. It may what is that life? That eternal separation will come back. That eternal separation will be fulfilled. Who we'll have eternal life? Everlasting life is eternal life. So way the God kind of life. So when men died, the God kind of life was taken away from them. And so they were separated from God. And God said, for me to restore them back, I must give. And he gave his only begotten son. And in him, he has entrusted the salvation, the reconciliation, the relationship of humanity back to himself. It is for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him shall not die, but have everlasting life. Then verse 17, it says, say, or say, for God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world. Because condemnation is of the law. Condemnation is of the law. It is the law that condemned us. It is the law that said that we don't deserve God. It is the law that says that for all have sinned and they are falling short of the glory of God. And Mrani said, Now, so bet me a restore, just or the yesu ama. So bet me a restore, just or the double back up at you. Now, or then it say, you know, and or the young quadje, a ranimo, and a yesu say, say, Mrano, a condemn. I have not come to condemn you. I have come to restore you. I have come to bring you back. I have come to restore the glory. You are restored back to God. And if you are restored back to God, you are restored into prosperity, into peace, into healing, into joy, into dominion, into authority, into glory, into ecstasy, into splendor. In the presence of God, there's the fullness of joy. And so now that Jesus has brought us, we know he no, no. We know he any. Say yes to the Waba Baka. We are more than a rich man, more than a wealthy man. You must understand this. Unfortunately, the Christian principles of giving has been that when you give, you must become wealthy. So we have Likened Christian giving to materialism, and that is below the belt. Giving is not to bring you to materialism, it's not to bring you into a buying of cars and mansion. No, but when you get the real blessing, the effect of the real blessing is what you call car, mansion, building, marriage, uh, uh, this, this. That is the effect of the blessing. So, until you get the real thing, the effect will not show up. But your wine and him, eh, chloroquine. A young colour, no for chloroquine. Prepare, say, we bought the best scratch. A bad itch, or what it is what is giving that effect of itching. Chloroquine now fire, you know. And the yes, we genie, now funnel. Not no, yet the blessing or betina wumua. Effect of the man, say, long life, peace, prosperity, joy, good marriage, success. Greatness, influence, power. It is said, Obinanya Yesu ni via effect a kaho and no and no the Bible said, O si kenino ewu ye. Now yeni Lazarus so ewu ye. Not Lazarus yo hieni. But in the spiritual, Lazarus was a wealthy man, a man that had everything under control, everything under his power, but on the earth he was a poor man. How come, sir, in the heavens he was rich, on the earth he was poor man? Because on the earth he could not see the effect of the blessing, but he had the blessing in him. And by the blessing, he was counted as a wealthy man in heaven. I didn't hear, our citizenship is not on the earth. Our citizenship is in the heaven. It's Yenshira Awasoro. Yenshira a register was so. Nam asasi so dear. I yeah effect on an aye day. I ya woo. It is say a bit to me, Amma. This a wooden nipakwa in Christ. 
and no better you are my deep 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 eighty o wo ya na ya see e be o si kenin no ya bari no you understand that one when you are buried you are given to hell it means you have no life no eternal life so you go to hell but when you are carried in the hands to the bosom of it is a proof of eternal life into two things either you will be buried or you will be carried on hands praise the lord into an opay na be say otia say say omma enye nse e wo christian fo mu omma ye ye karata me say dai omma ye ye karata adentia ne ya odin ka ma ya no ababet na ye mu na so abet na ye mu dia ni effect abet na ye mu enut na so bi ma na odwen dwe ne ho a obi ma na ye problem na onka ye ho onka sa cha pre ye ho enuti sa preach ye preach eh wo be ye ye wo be ye eh ye effect but what brings that blessing is the blessing inside which is Christ which is Christ to say for God sent not a son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be what might be what how can we must be saved because all of us were put into hell satan put all of us into hell there was no life on the earth and the only person that was accredited by god to bring life back to humanity was christ and how will christ come and release that life unless he gives himself to be crucified to be uh, uh, equipped to be to be punished to be humiliated and the bible said that they looked at him and they could not figure him he was like a man stricken of all glory of all power he did this because of you and i he did it so that he will be able to satisfy the eternal protocol that is a man for for our redemption and jesus did it na sanne be jesus say babo na fori akra wo chechira wo ye mo afori e mpenshira ye ye bo afori e shira follow ye the bar for ya insira no eye dia hallelujah do you know the greatest insira the greatest insira ne say what you wey it's so nyame insira wa anka o say wu so nyame insira wa anka o say won kwa no ye ji free won sem but insira no bo dey no be an to me to and then i would to hold na no won pen na apen ya wa he won pen na no pen ya he sika be no ni o wa he o wa he o ko and make catch us a wo nyame aye wadom nyame aboa wo enti god does not condemn that that through giving life will come so what does it mean it means that giving is life ay 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 giving is what talk to me giving is what let's go to ephesians Ooh. ephesians chapter 4 verse number 28 Time is so I have to run off. Working with his hands, the thing which is good, that he may have to give to him that needeth. So, according to the world, we work to make what? We work to make what? To make a living. We work to make a living. But listen to the scripture well. Let him that stole steal no more, but rather let him labor. Let him work. Working with his hands, the thing that is good, that he may have wherewith to work. So, according to eternal context, we work to give. Oh, put your hands together for God. According to God, you work to give. Do you know why? Your giving is what communicates life. So the more you give the more your life continue the more you give the more long life continue the more you give the more the resources blessings begin to follow the more you give the more God extend your territories the more you give the more God multiply you so watch the child God gave Jesus look at the millions of Christians on the earth giving is a life as we give God multiply as we give your things begin to go on and so if God will multiply Jesus is on the earth he must give Jesus Jesus and when he gave Jesus he had multiples of Jesus on the earth et and that o bibiara oni mo ma e wo Christo somo no sa ni pa no na bra boyam kwatenten sa en kwa no so enya en kwa wuwu a na etwa mu e yen kwa ye fa ni eternal life eternal life it was say let him that so it will your come for a jai 
Mais si vous avez un confort, vous avez un confort. 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 Vous what the white in AGD the year or say work with your hands. And the reason why we have to work with our hands and then say so that you can give. So that you can give. So that you can give. Hallelujah. And I'll pay me no better demonstration can see papa. So that you can give. It will be Piara on your juma wa yemuno. He cannot give. And if he cannot give, you die early. That's how I hear you. You die early. Because giving releases life. And he says, let him not st steal more. Now, let us look at a shadow of giving in the Old Testament. How this life of Jesus, the life, the death, the burial and resurrection of Jesus, which is the foundation of the Christian giving, how it was communicated in the shadow, which is the Old Testament. Let us look at it so that you will understand. You will give. Mante, mante. Mr. Whooper, whooper, you what? We don't give to look at building, to get cars, to get no, but we give to make life. We give to live in life. And when you have a life, God says, I will add unto your life everything that pertains to this life. So what is important is that life first. And when you have the life of God, He will add unto your life everything that pertains to this life. Praise the Lord. So let's go. First ah. Kings chapter 3. Let us read from verse 3. Come First Kings chapter 3. Ah, five minutes. Hmm. Yeah. And Solomon loved Jehovah. Solomon did what? Okay. <laughs> and you know that love is not my talk. Love is not a flamboyancy. Love is not tricks. But love is giving. I said, love is what? How many of you love God? Hey. How many of you love God? Hey, I'm pa. I'm pa. How many of you love God? I need 20 people to give me 50 cities. Hey, I need 20 people to give me 50 cities. Mama me bo. Mama me bo. I need 20 people. Ah, you say you love God. Let's see. Before I come to the scripture, let's see whether indeed you have the love of God in you. Because for God so, for God so, and when he demonstrated that love, what did he do? Eh? Eh? Uh huh. So those who love God, I'm seeing. Eh? Monkai Mame, me penny for 20. Mesha, those who say they love God. I'm not going to pray and release blessing. Now you know that when you become a believer, you are a blessing because the major blessing is in you and you show for that effect of blessing. I want people, 20 people who love God. Hey, the Fatum, we are at 200. Maybe 20 people who can say, Papa, I love you. I understand that I am a soul created to give. They rather say, What is the demand of the kingdom? Give. In Hey. Do you love God? Do you love God? I'm waiting. Me peni pa mako mako fi to make mama me twenty Ghana cedis. Asama ba, asama ba. Yeshua ne, wanga Yesu be wuma awong. No maji Yesu wona tum sampa enunti me nyesting jibio. Wama me oma wong hom me kain. Afine me nyaten. Me kain. Ooh. Time for me, time for me, Papa. I love you. 
no ma talk o ware na okun de bi o se woni o se i love you i love na love no she in ka ho a ka je se master o love we e questionable a suspicious love a love without giving is dangerous is dangerous yeah she for god so love so he gave and we are come to look at the shadow right now hey you love god you love god powerful powerful Life of Omra. Wow. Wow. Love in demonstration. Love, not math talk. Love in demonstration. Wow. Powerful. You love God. Okay. Then you have that kind of Powerful. Wow. 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 Hey, you love God. And when you love God, you romance Him. You romance Him. Romancing is giving. Romancing is giving. Wow. Wow. I'm looking at those who love God. Fast. Hey, time no yaso. Wow. I believe in the death, burial, and resurrection of Christ. Okay. Put your hands together for God. First service, we have launched our offering. Praise God. So now let's come. I say, and Solomon loved God, Jehovah, walking in the statutes of David, his father. And you be a David. Shire no fanya me hono. And na na Solomon yedei onemu. Only he sacrificed and burnt incense in the high place. I have prepared someone on the high place. So I won't go there. In fact, that conference this year could have been another one. There's a sermon on high place worship. So come there. Let's go. Fast. And the king went to Gibeon to sacrifice there. But that was the great high place. A thousand burnt offering. Now, in the demonstration of the love of Solomon to Jehovah, what did he do? What did he do? So according to the protocols in heaven, anytime you give, God must appear. Anytime you give, God must give. And so we are looking at that protocol. And he said, burnt offerings are did Solomon offer upon the altar. Let's move fast. Yeah. In Gibeon, Jehovah. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. In Gibeon, Jehovah. Ah, uh, Mante. In Gibeon, Jehovah, what? So there is a protocol in heaven that any time God sees giving, he comes to town. How many of you this year want to see God in your life? Working miracles, signs, wonders, turning the tables around for your good. He will lift you above your level. He will lift you above the horizons. He will create opportunities that are divine. Any time we give, life must be communicated. And God said, I will not give anything in an essence. I will give myself to you. Your giving will cause God to give himself to you. And by giving himself to you, the whole of eternity has come down. And when the whole of eternity comes down, you become a prince. You become a king sitting on dominion, sitting on blessing, sitting on power, authority. And so giving transcends receiving. Anytime we give, life of God come into play. Oh, in Gibeon, Jehovah did what? Appeared in a dream by night. And God said, hey, Pacho, Piazzo. Eh? 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 Now watch this. That symbol, it is a typology of Jesus giving himself to us. And when Jesus gives himself to us, God will appear in our life. Through the giving of Christ, God must not come and say, I am your God. I am your God. It's in your name of man on you in your minute now. And you say you're very careful. Who put a bin in a contour quite up on you, dear, and found on your mind, rather. Near my rather, or so in any day, and in a nam, nor a sore ring, John, the sons of a son of Bosse, Mamma won't quite tenting. I'm a wood de Iaday, I'm me, then yeah, happy, now who cost her on sua, who would die and quack. Come to win up a day. You are saying, In Jehovah. Appeared to Solomon in a dream by night. 
And God said, Ah, the first said, Lizzie, ask, ask what I shall give thee. Ask of me. And you know something? The other day when I checked that word ask, and I saw, and he said, ask of me and I'll give the nations as your inheritance. Hey! If you ask for the nations, I, God, I'll give it to you as your inheritance. And then may you rule in your nation. May you rule in your affairs of life. May you rule in every area of your life. So long as you're given, bring God to town. May God hand over to you the uncharted territories of blessing, uncharted territories of greatness, uncharted territories of opportunities, uncharted territories of, of, of God's goodness and mercy. As he said, the life of God is with you. Corona can not kill you. I said Corona cannot kill you because my giving will bring God to town. And when he comes to town, he gives me the way. He gives me eternal life. And by that life, let Corona do whatever he wants to do. I work as a free man. I work as a man with insurance from eternity. I have insurance with God. And by that insurance, no weapon, no power, no deity, no spirit, no sickness, no disease, no havoc of the enemy can stand up against me. Why? Because by that giving, I have been given the authority to walk upon him to walk upon him to walk upon him to walk upon him this year i want you to understand that give him must be your lifestyle because a believer in christ have that character believer in christ has that character you're teaching on man in a way now let us come back to the realities of the gospel and to paul say i wish to come to you that i may teach you what it takes to give that the blessing of God will come upon you. And he did not say blessings. He said death, death, death. The death means that it's a definite. It's an article. And he said the blessing, that blessing is Jesus. That if I give you Jesus, then your life will become meaningful. And open your mind, sir. And open your mind, I want to say, on my life, sir.